Tenemos una foto ahí para que la lleve para allá. A nada. Va de Venezuela. Bien, bien, ¿cómo te va? Por un parte, tengo una, una, tengo una visita por ahí. Ok. Entonces, bueno. Te digo al final de la mañana, mediodía, ¿te parece? Kilómetro 46, vía Santa Elena de Guayri. Well, we in the, in the community, everyone does something different. Mm -hmm. Farming, carpentry, mining. Uh, right now, I'm at home. When is the baby due? Uh, the first week in January. Wow! Okay, so we are, you're only a couple of weeks away. Yes. Uh-huh. And it's a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Uh-huh. What are you going to call the boy? <laughs> Oliver David. Oliver David, oh, mm -hmm. wow. Uh -huh. And what's he going to grow up to be? Mm. Well, when he comes, huh? then I will know. Uh -huh. He's going to look after you anyway. <laughs> huh? Maybe. Uh -huh. So tell me, uh, what, what do you like about uh, living here? What's, uh, what's good about here? It's a very quiet place. That, that's the most, the most thing that I like uh -huh. from here. We enjoy each day the song of the board, the fresh air. Uh -huh. and things like that. The natural things then. Uh -huh. Isabel. Isabel. Isabel Thomas. Well, tell me about yourself. <laughs> well, my age, I'm 52 years. Uh -huh. 50, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. well, I live in the community San Flaviano. Uh -huh. Yes, my tribe, Arwak. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Our what? culture is uh, making cassava bread. Uh -huh. the, the cashew from the cassava bread we make. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you also you can also make some kind of alcoholic spirit from. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Also. Uh -huh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I tried it one time. It was very oh, okay. Ooh, <laughs> it's very, very strong. strong. <laughs> it's very strong. Yeah. Yeah. So what what do you what do you see as the future for communities like this? Well, the future is well, most with the young people coming up uh -huh. because we are getting old every day. Yes. Well, everybody is. Yes, yeah. everybody. Yeah. But um, uh, are the young people moving away or? Yes, yes, uh -huh. they're moving away. Uh, that's yeah. that's regrettable, is it yes. or what? Uh huh. So what uh, what what is the, what future is there for your settlement? Well, my future is right here. Uh huh. But the future for the Arawaks as such? Oh, well, I must say that the young people. Uh -huh. yes. But if they move they, away... What, uh, they have to try. Uh -huh. They cannot leave their culture. Yes, uh -huh. so they, That's bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, can you explain more about the culture? Well, the culture, like, tell you, we speak, we speak the, um, the Arawak language. Uh -huh. Yes. Say some words in Arawak to me. I could say it, but my husband knows it better than me. Uh -huh. yes. But uh, give me, give me a little taster. Okay. Hamabiri. Hamabiri. Uh, what does that mean? What is your name? Uh huh. Sabo. Where are you going? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> That's good. Okay. And uh, okay, the settle the settlement is such around here. Let me just pan around to. See the settlement. Okay, and now we're back with you again. <laughs> uh, so, okay, um, what what is everyday life everyday life like here? What do you do when everyday you get up in the morning? Everyday life is in well, 
peaceful. We are um, in the house, mm -hmm. taking care of the house, the children, mm -hmm. preparing meals. And so. mm -hmm. Before I came over here, mm -hmm. my the land of my ancestors, we uh, we name Orinoco, that's my language. Mm -hmm. Karuni is my language, Escub is my language, Koreki mm -hmm. is my language. How many languages? Arawak language. But uh -huh. how we name those rivers. Okay. And the majority of mountains in Ghana, we name them also. Mm -hmm. uh, my very came over here because uh, in 1817, when this, this southern part of Venezuela was being liberated by uh, Henry Pierre, uh -huh. he burned our towns, our villages, slaughtered some of our women. Mm -hmm. Younger children, so the, the youths they get away towards the Sukibo. Mm -hmm. And we always vowed to come back. We like Makati, you know. Mm -hmm. We'll return. <laughs> so, this so is here, your land. So, here we are. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to move us. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what sort of You're ideology ready? comes here, we, we're going to be right here. You're Back ready to find beautiful forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are the advantages of living here? Mm, fresh air. Mm -hmm. Not too much of contamination, too much mm -hmm. of noise. Mm -hmm. Then as Indians, you know, we see that uh, our habitat is disappearing slowly, slowly. And it's a pleasure sometimes listening to the baboons at night, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. These howling monkeys, then you hear these toucans in the morning, you hear these macos, these rakamayas that you see, passing sometimes in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's music to our ears. And uh, it's it's the old custom die hard. So we can't we can't give up the bush. Mm. It's too difficult. Mm. Mm. So what do you do day for day? Uh, I'm a maintenance man. Mm. I do carpentry. I'm a plumber by profession. Uh, when I came here, I used to do diving for a living. And then we stopped. Diving? Yeah. Live in the water for gold. Diving for gold. Dive for gold? Yeah. Where? In these, in these balls, what they call Uh huh. In these main rivers over there. But do you find nuggets on the bottom or what? Lots of nuggets. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're you're a rich man. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was. Rich. Was. Rich, rich, morally, I think. Uh huh. Not financially. Uh huh. Because that doesn't bother us. Explain me that. Morally? Yeah. Well, we always have a, had a love for our fellow men. Uh huh. When Columbus first came here, it was my tribe that says, Welcome to this world. Was that good or bad? It was very bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake on our part, you know. Uh -huh. it, because within 30 years, all the Arabs from Kiwa had died. Uh -huh. Then the ones from Hispaniola had disappeared. Only the Arabs from the south had survived. But in this new world, North and South America, he chose my tribe to welcome Christianity because had he had those Spaniards landed on another island where you were Caribs, they would have eat them out. So we welcomed them, we fed them, then they killed us. We have no no hatred for them. That's history. That was their way of doing things. Mm -hmm. So they, what little love there is within us. We still treasure that piece of love. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. 